Avant Brands, AVTBF stock. This is a company I've always kind of liked. I think they're doing a great job up in Canada. They started out small, unlike the majors that we see all the time who tried to carpet all of Canada with green. Ambitious, costly, expensive. Avant Brands, however, took the opposite direction. They didn't want to mass produce every single product for every single Canadian. Instead, they said, let's just do premium. That's where the higher margins are. They've had trouble keeping up with demand. Never an issue that managers like to have, except for the fact they've had trouble getting their facilities out and ready. They've gotten their facilities running now. Things are looking even better. They're nearing, they've popped into net earnings positive from time to time. They're right at that break even point. Again, this is a solidly run company. They're hitting the product uh, matrix the best, I think, in some of the, out of some of the uh, companies up in Canada. This is a company that I've always liked, and I think that we're going to see some big turning around. AVTBF stock, of course, has taken off lately. We'll probably see some more upside. Let's break down all the charts I'm looking at so you can see what I'm looking at. Here we're looking at Avant Brands revenue. And as you can see, uh, the latest facility came online and immediately production was doubled. And they're looking to do more. They just picked up a um, BK, a company that was going BK. They picked up some facilities out of there. So they have more uh, production possibilities. A company that is having trouble keeping up with demand is getting more possibilities for production. Keep that in mind. Revenues are increasing. Gross margins are nearly where the industry average is. The industry average, I did a video about two weeks ago where I talked about, I broke down all the metrics for each individual company, uh, all in one. Gross margins for the industry are hitting about 45%. These guys are really close to that. So they're pretty average right there. Um, but economies of scale, as they increase their facilities and they get more product through, their gross margins are going to improve, which is always a good thing. Operating efficiencies. As revenues continue higher and higher, this is where you're going to see that uh, their numbers are going to improve as well. In this particular metric, what you're looking for is the lowest possible number because this is a cost ratio, operating costs over top of total revenue. As revenues increase, if they can keep their operating costs flatline, a tough call, but there's some possibilities there. You'll see this uh, metric slide lower and lower. Wheelhouse, roughly 15 to 20%. The whole industry, roughly 45%. So in this regard, their gross margins are roughly right at about the same for the whole industry, but they're a little better within operating costs. Like I said, this is a very well-run company. They're doing things correctly, and they're almost there with uh, profits. EBITDA profits, you're probably going to start seeing these kind of moving higher and higher. As the new facilities coming online, they get better at producing product, getting them out the door, cost effectively, you'll see EBITDA profits improving more and more. That being said, net earnings are just around the corner. They've popped into net earnings positive from time to time. The latest quarter was a small move lower. Um, they've got plenty of total equity and the total equity kind of keeps going higher and higher. This is kind of your future. If you're assets less liabilities if you're continually adding on to the liabilities but your assets really aren't going anywhere you're bogging yourself down these guys you're starting to see kind of an outlier here that they're starting to kind of move higher and higher there are a few companies like this avant brands of course is not seeing what the overall industry is a complete slide downward there are some outliers avant brands would be a slight outlier there Revenue projections, I got these from analysts. Um, 2023, we're looking for 23.5 million, 27 and a half million for 24. And I went conservative on 2025. That's my call for 30 million in 2025. This is just going to continue to add to their bottom line. Economies of scale, 
moving more product through the same facility, marginal profits mar from that marginal product, that one extra unit, how economists look at this. If you continue to increase your revenues like these guys are looking, their bottom line is going to get sweeter and sweeter. They'll hit net earnings profitability, one of the few in Canada, um, which will, again, make them an outlier. Like I said, these guys are very well run. They didn't sit there and promise the world and then try and pave all of Canada with green. They started small, built up from there, and they're getting there. Uh, the latest financial uh, release popped the stock higher. Since then, we really haven't seen a whole lot coming out of Canadian companies. There are some, um, which we have seen some stocks moving higher, Canopy Growth being one of them because they have so many assets in the United States. Um, Avant really didn't see any kind of moves like that. I think some short sellers got taken out and then some short sellers probably came right back in. Long term, however, if these guys flip profitable over the say the course of 2024 and they can do that consistently, I think the short sellers are going to have a real tough time as people start coming in, nibbling at the bottoms and squeezing out those short sellers. You may see a big move higher. Should things get too kinetic here in the United States with the rescheduling from Schedule 1 to Schedule 3, that could really shake out a lot of short sellers to begin with. This stock could take off, clearing out those short sellers, and before they even really get back in, then you're talking about a company that could potentially become profitable, and that would more than likely also kind of keep the short sellers out. At the same time, I want to throw this out there. We're probably going to see tons and tons of M&A activity. This is a company, it's a smallish company. They could get picked up. They could pick up other companies. No idea what. But when you're looking at these kind of the industry in general, a lot of companies are going to be looking to slash the bottom line, merging and getting rid of redundancies in order to push the stocks higher. Avant Brands kind of being a leader may lead in that. We'll see how that plays out, but keep that sort of mental note in your mind. Make sure you hit that like and follow button. There is so much going on. I'm trying to get as much content out on these smaller stocks so everybody has a good idea which are the stocks to look at, which are the stocks to buy, and the reasons why I break down all my content like this. Thanks for hitting that like and follow button. We'll see you in the next video.